ask you, how many of you have heard about the coronavirus? I would think that just about everybody has. That's what everybody's talking about it. That's what's been on the news. That's what's on the internet. How many of you are feeling worried about it? Okay, I want to have a little lesson here. You see I have a bowl and it's full with water and in the bowl at the bottom is a yellow sponge. I'm not sure if you can see it and it's right at the bottom and it's got these rocks on top that are weighing it down. Okay, um, that is what it can feel like when you are weighed down with worries, when we're worried about something. Some people worry that their family will get sick when they have to go into town to work or buy groceries. A lot of people worry because schools and businesses are closed and we have to stay home all the time. We hear a lot of things about the virus in the news and on the internet and from other people. We can hear some true news and some false news about the virus. And everything we hear can cause lots of worry which weighs us down just like this piece of foam that's weighed down at the bottom of our bowl. We're going to talk about how we can get rid of the worry that's weighing us down. And when you worry, there are four steps that you can take. Recognize, number one, recognize that you are worried. Recognize that you are feeling anxious about something. Worry and anxieties are sensations or feelings that you can feel in your body as well as in your mind. And when you worry, you might feel lightheaded, a little bit like dizzy, you might have headaches, you might get stomach aches or feel a fluttery sensation in your stomach like butterflies, but they're kind of uncomfortable. You might bite your nails, you might have trouble sleeping. And when you feel this way, it may be because you are worried about something. So that's the first thing you want to do. You want to realize why you're feeling sick is maybe because you're worried about something. That's number one. Name what it is that is worrying you. Try to identify the specific problem or situation that is bothering you. So instead of just saying, I'm worried about everything, try to think of what's making you feel that way. What's giving you the stomach aches or the the uh, headaches or making you feel a little dizzy, like maybe you're worried because your dad has to go to work every day, or maybe you're worried because you can't go and see your grandma. So try to think exactly what it is that's making you feel the, really worried. And if possible, tell a family member about it. And if it's not possible, at least say it to yourself so you recognize that it's not just everything, it's just some specific things. So that's number two. So we're gonna take this rock off. That's number two, that's your number two worry. Number three. Think positive thoughts. Worry usually happens when we are thinking negative thoughts. For example, you might worry about if someone you know might get sick with the virus and you may think negative thoughts about what ifs. What if thinking usually feeds our fears and worries instead of helping us feel better. So what that means is that you're thinking about, well, what if my dad has to work every day and he can get sick? Or what if mom goes to the store and she gets the virus? Or what if grandma gets sick? Um, it's all these what ifs, they haven't even really happened, but we keep thinking what if, what if, what if, and it just makes us feel more and more worried. So those are negative thoughts. So instead of thinking negative thoughts, think of positive thoughts instead. Think of things like I am home safe with my family. I am home safe with our pets. I am home and I can play games. I am home um, and I, you know, I can talk to grandma on the phone. Those are positive thoughts. So we're gonna take off one more rock off the sponge and put it to the side. Number four, this is the big one. Give your worry to God. Pray and ask God to take your worry. When we give our worries to God in prayer, he fills us with peace, okay? And so listen to this promise, it's in his word, in the Bible. It says, don't worry about anything. Instead, tell God about everything. Ask and pray and give thanks to him. Then God's peace will watch over your hearts and your minds because you belong to Christ Jesus. God's peace can never be completely understood. So we're going to take the last stone off and look what happens. Can you see? It just floated right to the top. Okay? Wow, that's what happened. The foam has risen to the top of the water. Just like this, we can rise above our worries. It looked almost impossible at first, way down at the bottom, but now things are looking much brighter and we can smile. Just like the sponge.
Isaiah 41.10. We worry because we don't remember that God is in control and that He loves us. We don't remember that we can trust Him with our problems. The more we entrust every part of our lives to God, the less we worry. Do you think we can overcome our worries no matter how hard they are? I think so. I've had many worries that looked like they would not go away. Not all of our problems will go away, but God will help us in the middle of them. So remember the four steps we learned about releasing worry. One, recognize that you are worried. Two, name what is worrying you. Three, think positive thoughts. And four, the most important, give your worry to God. Every single human has problems and we all worry sometimes. Now, we're going to release our worries to God. So I want you to think about a difficult problem you have, something that you really worry about. And we're gonna follow the advice in 1 Peter 5, 7. Cast all your anxiety on God because he cares for you. We're going to do this by praying. I'll say a sentence of the prayer and pause. During the pause, you can talk with God about your worries. Lord Jesus, you know my problems and every worry in my heart. There are some things that I worry about that make me feel like crying. But you love me and can help me. I place my problems into your hands and ask you to help me. Thank you for giving me the joy of knowing that you care about me. I love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's act out casting our worries and problems onto God. So everyone stand up and act out the things I say. Your problem or worry is heavy. Pretend that you're carrying a worry that is really heavy. How would you walk? How would you look? Act out how you'd feel carrying your really, really heavy burden. Now we're going to throw those worries onto God. So act out throwing that worry away from you. Lift that heavy worry and throw it as far away from you as you can. Then walk around showing how you feel now that you're not carrying that heavy weight. What would you feel? How would you look now? To shout. God wants to help me with my worries. He cares for me as loud as you can. I'm going to have to shout really loud for me to hear you all the way over here in my house. Are you ready? One, two, three. We're going to end with a blessing now based on Proverbs 3, 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not lean on what you can see and understand. Lean on God. Give him all your problems and worries and may he fill you with his peace. I hope you guys all have a fantastic week and I will see you next time. Bye.